to the point where I knew, Adrian, you got to make a decision. Are you going to follow your intuition or are you going to follow morality? <laughs> Screw with the morals. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to our channel. And this video, that's why you read the description. It's about how we met. Our yes. story time. So many of you want to know how did this beautiful union start? <laughs> Where did it come from? How did it grow? And this is that video for you. Yes, a lot of y'all on our TikTok, the muses have been asking how we met, how long have we been together, and so this video is specifically for you. And also, if you already know our story, we're just gonna be completely and blunt honest this time. Um, something we've never actually done, we've always left out pieces to protect people. Um, but I think it's just time. But it's time for us to walk yes, in our truth. That's right. Uh, that's so, what this is about, walking in our truth and you know, being honest, so hey. Right. It so, is what it is. Listen, we're gonna tell y'all a little bit how we manifested our love uh, with this strong disclaimer. I know a lot of you guys are, are asking for love spells and how do I, um, how do I make someone love me or how do I find the love of my life? I believe that everyone should follow your own intuition, your own spiritual path, your own journey. But if you're asking my opinion, I don't think that putting a love spell on someone or putting some sort of manifesting energy um, like that, because sometimes you can tie people to you that you don't want to be tied to them. Thank you. Yeah. So one thing about it, two things for sure. If you do a love spell on somebody and y'all break up, cause you know, it don't always last, you still with them. Yeah, that's so true. That is so true. So before we start getting into this video, make sure y'all subscribe to our channel if you are not already and hit that notification bell so that you know every time we drop a video. Because you know, sometimes we might be off schedule and just drop an extra video just because. Never know. You never know. You never know. Never know. Okay, so let's get the the stuff out of the way first. Let's get the easy stuff out of the way first. We're both Aquarians. Yes. Um, we're both originally from Florida. from Florida. We currently now reside and have been lived in Los Angeles for seven, seven years. Seven years since 2014. Absolutely. I have two, two daughters and when she came into our life, which was nine years ago, they, they were, were very young. They I were like, say like seven, seven and nine. Yeah. yeah. Six and eight, seven and nine, something, something like, like that. that. Um, so the, the girls were very young. They were in elementary school. <sighs> so, I remember those days. I don't know. They're teenagers. No, they're adults now. Though. They're adults. 17, 19. So y'all already know <laughs> what type of time it is over here. So just make sure y'all send positive energy for us to help us get through <laughs> the attitudes. No, I'm just kidding. They're coming up, they're coming up into their own womanhood. So it's really, it's really interesting and fun to watch them develop into young women from girls and it's it's funny as hell it a is lot of the time yeah. we laugh a lot but anyway yeah all right i'll try so drop in the comments below what questions y'all already might have for us that y'all want to know about Ooh. our relationship that we might not tell you or that we may forget to leave right or that we exactly to leave. yeah and also keep in mind that we know this is a youtube platform so we can't be as vulgar ma <laughs> as we want to be but Read between the lines. Yes, we're gonna okay. do our best. All right, so I'm just gonna start off with me. So when I, before I met her, I was working this job doing data entry. I had only been there for a few months and I had just finally finished out of my whole little relationship that I had been in for like a long time. And you know, sometimes you just get out of a relationship and you feel like you've learned all that you can and you know for sure like all the lessons that you learned. I know what it is that I want now. And I just was really tired of being in the same circle and repeating the same pattern. So I was at my desk, I had a pad, I always like to write, and I just wrote, I was real heavy y'all into the L word. Y'all know what I'm talking about, the L word. And I adored Bet Porter. I love Bet Porter. I am team Bet Porter. Make sure y'all comment down below, Bet Porter. I'm <laughs> team Bet Porter. All right, so I wrote down on my notepad that I want to be in a relationship with someone like Bet Porter, meaning in a sense, like someone that's older than me and someone that's more mature. I just felt like I just kept attracting all of these immature people that just 
didn't understand me, wasn't deserving of my love, and I felt like if I had someone that was older or more mature, that that relationship would do well. So I wrote that down. I have to time it to say two weeks later, I went to a little party, a Super Bowl party with my friend, and I saw her come into the room. You know, I guess now that I'm with her, so, you know, she was supposed to be a little player, you know, had her little girls or whatever, had a few of them with her, but I only saw her and I saw her from across the room and I was like, oh my God, there she is. There, there she is. And I could not take my eyes off of her. Something was pulling me towards her and I was like, I don't know what it is, but I have to know who she is. And I was asking my friend, I was like, who is that? Who is that? And all she told me was, okay, you had a house or like this little organization and my friend was a dancer and she recruited my friend to be a dancer in her organization. So my friend was like, oh, that's Mama Bear or the leader of our house of Adini. So you was the mama. Yeah. So y'all y'all watch Pose. So yeah. it was like the, it was like a, a version, a house version of that. Yeah, so she she was the leader and I, I was definitely following. <laughs> yes, I definitely was. And I, I could not take my hands off you so from, Hands? No, sorry, I could That's not. True too. <laughs> we'll get there. All right. I could not take my eyes off of you and I have to say, I knew I needed to start to put my plan into motion. So, yeah, I mean, I won't say I stalked you, but I definitely planned to have you in my life, but you know, I didn't even know what you was dealing with, you know, but you could tell them. Okay, so here's my side. That's very interesting to hear that because there was a part of that I'd never actually heard before. That was new, so it's new to me. <laughs> um, I definitely was in a situation, Ship. Um, <clears throat> I had just ended a two year relationship with, um, with a girl who actually, we, we ended it on great terms. We were friends for a long time and uh, after we broke up, and we broke up and I was wilding out. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes after a relationship, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, gotta let it out. You gotta get it out. Get so you gotta hit the streets, as the kids say these days. Um, you was doing in, the in them streets. Oh, he was I was in the streets heavy. <laughs> um, my nickname was AD uh, back in Duval. And Why you gonna say it like that, AD? Because the country come out when I started <laughs> talking about Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, I was like really, really like in the streets dating. So one day we like went to Atlanta with my sister or something. We met this girl. She was lit. I was lit and went back to the hotel. It is what it is. Drunken nights, young. I don't have any regrets. Then I ain't gonna lie. I think it was kind of like a rebound situation from the two year relationship. We just started to talk more and more. And honestly, I moved her from... Atlanta to Jacksonville and we ended up living together um, but only for like two months so let's let's do the storyline okay hold on let's back up let's back up let's back up January was the, the Super, Super Bowl, Bowl party. party okay my intuition did the exact same thing with hers at the exact same time as I was walking in the barbershop where the Super Bowl party was it's a big barbershop and I had on my 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 friends with me and we walked in I'm talking it had to be at least 60 people 70 people yeah, in this room like, like yeah. it just spanned so if you know me you see I'm wearing glasses if I don't have these glasses on I can't, she can't see, see, she can't see okay so she was at least like across the room it was fun it was your energy something about she was sitting down I did not see her body I could not see her face because yeah, I she had, had a hat on, on and then she I had, had a, a wig. long wig. All I could see was a black hat, long wigs, and sitting down. She was surrounded. Her, she was sitting in a barber chair, and everyone was surrounding her. And honestly, I was leaving with two of the girls that I came in with, but I did not care. I would have dropped. Who, who is that? So whoever her friend is, we'll leave the names out of it. Who was in my house? There were some, there were some lies told um, later because certain individuals didn't really want to see us together. Yeah. So the same person that she was asking, who who am I? I'm texting now on this on her to the same person like, who is the girl sitting down next to you in the chair? She didn't respond. When I tell y'all the feeling was magnetic. I didn't know what this girl looked like 
from top to bottom, but it was an energy that I was already addicted to. So it was kind of like, okay, you ain't gonna tell me who she is. It is what it is. I think at, at the end of the night, she kind of brushed it off. I had to verbally ask her like, hey, who was the girl with the, with the head on over there? And she was like, oh no, nah, she, she, she got an old lady. She, she talking to somebody or something like that. Fast forward, I'm back to the girl in Atlanta. We back home. This is probably March. Okay. Now, oh, so we you said that I, when she told you that I had an old lady, so in January I did. So like March so, yeah. in that two month time frame, I was done. I had I was no longer in the relationship. And I, it was vice versa with me. And when I first seen her, and my intuition kept pushing me to ask, who is she? I should have just walked the hell up to you because you were single then. I was very yeah. much single, and it wasn't until after afterwards. That. I ended I ended up getting in a situation with the girl that I met later in Atlanta. So fast forward maybe two months. Girl. This is not straight to Listen, Atlanta. first of all, yeah, we are we have not in that eight weeks had any kind of sex. We were not intimate, passionate, or nothing. Shame. Um I was very much so bamboozled. Um but I don't blame anyone but myself because I should have listened to my goddamn intuition in January. And it was just a rush to try to fill a void that only I could fill. Mm, say that. Let's repeat it. Only I could fill. No, speak it in a full sentence. There was a void that she was trying to fill that only I could fill. And here's the thing. I can specifically remember... I love taking, some people call them spirit baths, some people call it energy baths, but just to refresh myself, and we can do other videos about how to do that. If you're interested in wanting to know how to build your energy up or attract what you want while in water, type below that you're interested and in, we'll make a video for you. Yeah. Um, but I was in the tub and just, just really trying to manifest what I really wanted. This was really early in my spiritual journey. So there was a lot of things that I hadn't discovered yet or, or, or learned. So I'm sitting in there just saying, man, I just really want someone who loves like I do. I'm tired of being in these relationships where I'm giving, 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 and I'm always teaching people how to love me. And it became extremely exhausting. So I got to a point where I was unhappy and I wasn't gonna pretend like I was. So I'm a very big communicator. I talk to her very, very clearly. Um, you're not doing this for me. I'm lacking in these areas. What can we do to did this, that, and the third? And she was just not, sometimes relationships just not meant to be. Yeah. There's no hard feelings, but sometimes stuff not supposed to be together. All right, so going, we in Orlando at, at an event that. Yeah, so we're at, our, we're at an event where your, the friend, the yes, girl. my friend who was a part of her house was dancing. So well, I, let's, let's recap. The friend that said that she was in a relationship to me, what did she tell you when you asked about me? She told me who you was. She said that she was, you know, she called you Mama Bear or you was like the leader of the house. Oh, but because you was in a relationship. Yeah, she just left it at that. But that's all the information that I needed, little did she know. But so we in Orlando, I drove up there with my friend because I wanted to see her dance and I was supportive. And you know, we at the club. Now I had asked my friend, I was like, Hey, is your um is I asked her was she coming? She was like, nah, nah, she's not coming. She was like, so you know, but she gave Because the girl I was with was hating. I remember specifically. She was hating and being mad because I because I had to go to Orlando, which is weird because what I'm saying here for we <laughs> So yeah, so my friend was like, nah, 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 she ain't coming, but she gave me, you know, all the instructions and stuff, so I know what I'm doing. I'm here. I was like, oh man, I was bummed. So I was just drinking, having a little sip sip. I wasn't gonna come either. I know, but then, you know, your intuition led you to me, that, you know. That's a fact. So long story short, you know, you end up coming, popped up out of nowhere. I was like, okay, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I thought she wasn't coming, girl. I see her walk through the door. I said, oh, Janika, now is your chance. <laughs> now is your opportunity to seal the deal. Like, you have to make this official. This is your only opportunity that you have. You have to let her know that you want her, and she needs to leave her knowing that she gotta have you. So. I was like, dang, how am I gonna do that? Think, think, think. We in the club, out of nowhere, they start playing. All you hear is, you've got me speechless. Beyonce? I was like, oh, it's time to know. Yeah, they don't, if you don't know, know, if you don't understand, y'all, we are beehive. Beehive. Okay. Yes, this entire household is. Yes. We have been Beyonce fans for almost 
20 yes. since, something since years. Since Destiny Child's first album, I've been Beyonce. Hands Absolutely yes. same. So that's something that was huge. Beyonce brought us together. She did. She did. The universe came together for me and they put it, they played that song and I was like, oh yes, this is me. This is my personality. I'm about to nail this. So they played Speechless. <laughs> Somebody else that was in your house was sitting in a chair, but you were standing off to the side, but standing close enough to where she could see me. So I pretty much give the best lap dance I've ever given in my entire life. Not, not to me. Not to her. Because I knew that you had a girlfriend. Right, I was public. <laughs> yes, I knew. So I was like, so I can't be disrespectful because I'm not the kind of girl. But, I mean, I in the past I have been a little bit disrespectful. But in that time frame, I, I wasn't. But I was like, I have to let her know that I'm doing this dance for her. So the whole time I'm dancing on her friend, not my friend, the other girl that was in your house. The whole time I'm dancing on her, I'm looking at you. And it was so obvious, y'all. I need y'all, she ain't telling the story right. They played Beyonce for only the universe knows why. The when she started slow dancing on the other friend that was in our, that was in our house, the entire club stopped. She shut it down. Every all eyes was on Janika, and I'm talking about this was a pride event. Uh, it was so it was so obvious that she was dancing for me without dancing on me that I had at least three of my friends come up behind my ear and be like, um, "She wants you." That's for you, or or why she's staring at you like that? Like it was clearly evident to the point where I knew, Adrian, you got to make a decision. Are you gonna follow your intuition, or are you gonna follow morality? <laughs> Screw the morals. No, Screw like, morality. Okay. In that particular situation. Yeah. In that particular situation. Because I that was the best decision I ever made. I looked. I didn't even care what my friend. That was lying between us, the barber. I was like, uh, y'all come back to the room if you wanted to. Um, we got a few bottles, some speakers. Not to like necessarily cheat, but to just keep I needed the night. to I needed to I see needed to more. see more. Yeah. I needed to feel who this girl was. Keep in mind, please understand this. Cause the end is hilarious. Needless to say, she comes knocks on my door, she dances for us. I'm completely enthralled. She, the night's ending at the hotel. It's a great night. And then all of a sudden, she's in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom at the same time. And I have to use the restroom. And she's not leaving the restroom. She's not. My friend was in a trunk cop block. Which I didn't understand why. But after we're out of the situation, come to find out my friend, who was part of her house, told her. And everyone in the house. That I was her girlfriend. For a long time. So I'm wondering why she trying to cop block me. And I'm like, girl, yeah, and I'm messing up my plan, bro. Ooh. Which is why I wasn't going to be like, oh, come to the room and let's. I wasn't finna because in my mind you was talking to the girl yeah. so I was telling her like oh well y'all talking you know what I'm saying y'all come back to the room but at the same time I'm also looking at you like I know I caught that what she was throwing just then now, she was black dancing on this girl but her eyes ain't never leave my face they didn't but that was not my girlfriend bro we were not girlfriends I don't know why you did that but it's okay because you came back and you apologized but we was not together yeah so but we thought that's why I wasn't that's why I never really Yeah, did yeah. See, I was single. So, okay. So, in after, the bathroom. After, after, yes. The nice ending, everyone's going home, and she shuts the door to the bathroom. And I'm like, well, you know, I got to pee. Like, I actually got to pee. And she was like, what'd you say? I said, okay. I said, you ain't got nothing I ain't ever seen before. Go ahead and pop a squat. I mean, grown. I'm with her to pop squat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I decided not to use the restroom and give the two girls her included their privacy as I was shutting the door to leave we both caught each other in the mirror now this is how manifestation and intuition is so strong in your life in mine at least there was to this day such a knowing and such a feeling and such a strong powerful energy from the way she stared at me in that mirror for just a split second as I was like closing the door. It was like, I remember I shut the door and I stared into, I was, I like, I was zoned out like. In that zoned out section of time, I saw her life together. I saw our entire life. 
And I knew from the time I left that bathroom to the time I got back in my bed, you was gonna be my wife, not my girlfriend. I never wanted to get married. Not my girlfriend, not nothing. I knew I would spend the rest of my life with you. That if, and if you don't know about in, intuition and, and the importance of following your intuition, check out our last video yeah. that we just talked more in depth about that. But when I tell you, it was annoying. I knew that I would know you for the rest of my life. Or at least I was gonna fight to try to be in your life some kind of way. Yeah. It was an energy that was inseparable, needless to say. Yeah, so uh, there's not enough time. We will definitely film a part two and drop a part two. Because and she definitely it cheated. Oh and it got really violent. Well, not, I won't say violent. It did it get got, violent. Well, not 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 like domestic. You well, you gotta see. You she she was violent. Yeah, it wasn't her. It wasn't my queen. But yes, y'all y'all gotta hear the juice of this because it gets deeper. It gets deeper. It gets deeper. And y'all, do y'all know that the entire time that we started talking and she came back to the room and she was in the in the dance and dancing to Beyonce, I did not know that I was the same that, that girl was the from same the girl. I did not Be know because, because I had like short this. hair. I, well, my hair wasn't low like this, but I had like oh, a yeah. shortcut. So, so there was no hat, there was no, no wig, no there wig, was no long it, hair. It, it was all body, yadi yadi. Couldn't see that for. Cause, but I sure was like, oh, is she? Like, God damn. I just didn't realize that was the same intuition that, that I felt in the barbershop. Like, yeah. who is she? And I was the same girl. She didn't find that out to like months, to, to months, months after months we got after together. We together. So months, she brought it up laying in the bed after we was already together. And she was like, oh my God, like remember the barbershop? I was like, what barbershop? <laughs> she was like, girl, I was trying to talk to you back at the barbershop. I was like, what barbershop? She was like, at the, at the Super Bowl party. I ran out the room. I could not believe that I had manifested this woman in my life from the tub, from the fuck, from the from the party. Anyway, y'all gotta hear how part two is. In yeah. the part one, part two, even more juicier. Thank y'all for sticking to us. Make sure you comment, like, share, subscribe, subscribe, hit the notification button so you can see our other videos that we already got planned to drop. Yes, and watch all of our other videos, y'all. We have so many more videos for y'all to see, like. You won't believe. But yes, until the next time, stay tuned and we'll see y'all later.